Serena Martiello. I'm a third year English major here at the University of Florida and for our presentation today I'm going to teach you how to make recycled headbands out of a magazine. And it's relatively easy. It does take about 45 minutes to make a full headband, but you, you will need um, your supplies would be a magazine of some sort, a ruler, pencil, scissors, and a headband. So we're going to make, we need to cut out squares that are 10 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So I'm going to measure out, I'm going to make a mark at 10, and then I'll mark at 20, and then draw my straight line across. It doesn't matter what color ink or pencil you use because when you fold it, the ink will actually not show up at all, so you don't have to worry about it bleeding through or anything like that. And now along here, we're going to measure it by four. And now we're dividing it into four by ten centimeters. So you're going to cut along the lines, you're going to cut the rectangles out. If you don't have any type of magazines like Teen Vogue or Seventeen or anything like that, you don't actually need them. You can easily use newspapers or actually store catalogs. In the past I've used like a coach catalog and the pages were really glazed and it made it really easy to make really shiny and colorful headbands. So you can, um, if you live like on campus at university, there's different like campus talks or like housing magazines that have a bunch of different designs, which makes it really easy to get free magazines and reuse them from there. Depending on the size of your headband, you'll probably need about 40 to 60 rectangles. I believe the one I'm currently wearing has about 45. So depending on what type of headband you're using, you'll need definitely a few pages of a magazine to cut out. We already pre-cut a bunch of squares to help help us out in the little video. And now that we have all the squares, squares pre-cut, we're going to learn how to fold them. You're going to take one of the squares and you're going to fold it horizontally three times. Whichever design you want to show up in your headband, you want to fold, keep it on the outside. So since this tie-dye is pretty, we're going to fold inwards on the plain white side. So you're going to go one, two, and then the last time, three. As you'll see, you'll have one side that still has the flap. The opposite side isn't going to have anything. Then on the side with the flap, you're going to fold it in half. So now I have a little baby gator going on. You're going to take each side and you're going to fold both of the edge, edges towards the center. Gonna fold one edge in. You're going to fold the other edge in. And then you're going to fold it back up. And this is the building block to making the headband. Now you have two building blocks. You're going to need to connect them. An easy way to connect them is to look at the inside. If this is your flap, say you have, I have it facing up currently, I'm going to have it, close it, and have the open part facing outwards. Then I'll look at this piece and see which way the flap is looking. I'm going to also put it up, close it, and face this one upwards. So the inside part's facing out and up. You're going to take these two edges and you're going to slip them in between the edges of the first piece. sometimes can get tricky as you're going along because it'll get tight but as of right now this is your first corner piece and it creates this fold and it stays in place and from now now we're going to make more squares and more building blocks and we're going to keep weaving it through until you have a long band of crisscrossing paper another piece of paper you're going to fold it in three one two three, flip it over, 
fold it in half, grab each end, fold it towards the center, fold it towards the center. The flap is facing up, so I know where it is. I'm going to keep it facing up, and then I'm going to weave it through this piece right here. I'm going to try to put it through the two middle the two middle sections right here. Although sometimes the first few ones are hard to start. But here we go. Weaves through. Fix the original. And there we go. So I continue folding and weaving for the to finish up a line. So I'm going to see if it works on the headband. So you can literally buy any type of headband. Since it's going to be covered, you can buy something really cheap and then make it look pretty. Depending on your hair, you might need a little bit thicker than this one. Like I know my hair needs a little bit more to tame it. Um, so I'm putting it on. You can see there's a little edge left, so I'm going to add it like one more piece of paper and it should be able to cover it. Weave it through. Rem remember to make sure that the flap is folding up and makes weaving a lot easier so you don't have to like get tangled with the paper. Okay, there we go. It's finally time to glue it onto the headband. So first you want to glue the edges to close off where like you were weaving it. So just a little bit of glue would be sufficient. Glue on the headband and then add pieces of the paper to it go section by section. Hold it a few seconds and then proceed to glue the rest of it on. Okay, we're on the last section. We just added glue. Folding it, putting it on. Hold it for a little bit. Okay, and voila! You have your very own recycled headband.